So yeah, these Opus X right here. I uh, picked them up, picked up this box when I was in Michigan. This is the father and son, his son sampler. And it's an amazing sampler right here. I mean, you look at what you get. You get these two Opus X, uh, Oro Oscuros, the Stino Siglo. You get these Casa Cubas, Divine Inspiration, which are, you know, all of these are pretty hard to find and, and come by. They're not very common a lot of times. If they're available, they just sell out, right? I got lucky when I bought these, and just they just happened to have one or two of these boxes in store, and I was one of the lucky guys that picked it up. You know what I mean? So, and especially to be able to buy them at a fair price as well. And this is the Opus X 20 year. Um, what can I say? These are just phenomenal cigars right here. Like, the type of cigars that you want to just sit back and, you know, as cliche as it sounds, it's not even sit back and relax. It's like, bro, you're just going to sit back. You're going to take a journey. You want to you want to take flight. All right? We're taking flight over here. We're going on astronomical adventures right here with these cigars. Like, this is not, not even, I'm not even kidding you right now. These, these will take you on journeys. Like, seriously. And uh, let's see you here. The uh, Don Carlos Personal Reserve. Again, amazing cigar, and now it's in, it's in this double robusto. I can't wait to try this. Yeah, and of course, last but not least, Opus X Power Ranger. Look at this fat cigar. This is a a cigar that Tony Soprano would be smoking right here. Like, look at that. <laughs> Rest in peace, James Galdolfini, man. That Tony Soprano right there. That that the Sopranos was my shit, man. Did you ever watch that? That was got to be one of the best shows of all time. Um, this is something he would be smoking. <laughs> All right, so that's the father and son sampler. Let's finish up some of this Opus X stuff. And got some more of these 20 year cigars. They're just amazing. Again, look at the uh, look at the, the the band designs on these. Just amazing. I really hope that uh, like the hype is already crazy for Opus X stuff. But, and there's already some resellers. We're not going to get into all that. But, yeah, it's really nice to have this stuff. So, just really appreciate the hobby and enjoying these cigars and everything they have to offer. So, these right here were some birthday cigars that I received as a gift. This is the uh, Opus X Dubai and the uh, Opus X BBMF with the crazy uh, poof. Right there, the, uh, what is that called? Oh my god, I can't think of it right now. <laughs> this freaking rat tail right here. This ponytail is just crazy. Again, it's art, right? You, you gotta appreciate this. Sooner or later, I'm gonna de develop the right vocabulary to speak on all this, you know, and do the, uh, and do it justice in some kind of way, but I just can't right now at the moment. But I do want to make this video, so, yeah. Thank you for the birthday gifts right there. Let's see what else we got. Uh, so this is Opus X stuff. And so Opus X gets pretty confusing. Maybe I'll do a video on all of the Opus X lines because, yeah, I mean, that's that's a, another rabbit hole. So this is the Opus X uh, Forbidden 13 in the, in the Toro format. It's a little bit on the thin side for a Toro. I think it's 49, 48 ring gauge. Let's see what else we got here. So we got some sharks. Okay. So another Destino Siglo. This is like a uh, double Robusto size. Again, these I've, you know, I really, really am not in a hurry to smoke these. They need some more rest big time. Like I had one of these and when a cigar is just having trouble staying lit and it just, that draw gets tight, like I, I got halfway through it. You know, I managed to power through that cigar and smoke it, but they really need a long rest time and they need, uh, you know, a, a longer rest time and then bring that humidity down nice and slow. Give it a good dry box before you smoke it. But most importantly, let those things rest. Same with these. And I think the bigger the ring gauge, the more you need to let it rest as well. Just because it takes time for all that cigar to get right. 
Okay, so these are all a bunch of sharks, Opus X sharks. So these are just the regular sharks, and this is the Destino El Siglo shark, which I think is slightly bigger. Yeah, this is the tiger shark. That's right. That's what it's called. Cool stuff, man. And definitely looking forward to these. Uh, yeah, I was on a shark craze. <laughs> you know, uh, maybe it was like Shark Week or something, and I was like getting all these shark Opus Xs and the Don Carlos, just picking them all up. And uh, I might have got more than I, you know, I don't know. It's just they're kind of a letdown for me. So I don't know. Just the Vitola maybe just doesn't sit right with me. It doesn't. It's not very enjoyable. In, in my experience. So, but that's okay. Still, amazing cigars as well. And, uh, so yeah, those are, oh, this would be, you know, part of the regular Opus X line, right? I, I'm not going to get in, oh, I'm not going to get into the, um, you know, there's a name for it. I can't think of the name, but it's not like naming convention or, you know, when you get to uh, some brands and their product lines and they have a bunch of different model numbers, you know, it's kind of like what's happening here with Opus X. You know, where you need it's 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 like it's got its own basically its own alphabet to to keep track of all the stuff they make. So it's kind of what's happening here. Okay, so try to organize these, present them in some kind of way where they make sense. So. Okay, so these are Opus X, Taurus the Bull. Okay, so this is a Taurus the Bull. These three are the same size. Let me put this on the end here. So these three are the same size. This one is the Scorpion, I think. Uh, yes, Scorpion. So slightly smaller Batola, natural wrappers, Maduro wrappers. And if I'm not mistaken... This is also the same thing, just a different Vitola, but it looks so much cooler. Like, you see how the cap is like, they mix the two together. So the foot and the cap have the natural ends, but the cigar has the Maduro body. Isn't that cool? And then also this one, I'm going to set these here. And also this one is the opposite of that one. So this one's got Maduro foot, Maduro cap. Does it have the Maduro cap? Am I tripping? It doesn't look like it. Definitely got the foot though. I don't know. I think it's supposed to. But uh, anyway, so these are some giant cigars. I mean, like, wow. It's box pressed and huge ring gauge. So these are the Opus X Forbidden. Are these the Forbidden? No, I'm sorry. These are not the Forbidden Opus X. These are Opus X Heaven and Earth. Okay. So it's LMT Taurus the Bull. These are El, El Scorpion. So this one's a Scorpion. But these are El Scorpion. El Scorpion. Yes. All right. But yeah, definitely looking forward to these. But these are like... These are going to demand some attention, so these have to be the right moment to enjoy these cigars for sure. And next up, let's see. So these are all a bunch of Churchill-sized Opus X stuff. And I'm going to... This isn't necessarily Opus X, but you know, it's all right there, right? It's all in that same ballpark with these two. So, okay, this is that. Destino Siglo. Trying to organize these a little bit, make them presentable for you guys. And let's see. And these are a bunch of angel shares. Okay. So, starting off with how should we do this? Okay, let's do it like this. These are regular Opus X line. 
okay and so I believe this is the number two Vitola um, nice thick ring gauge cigar big boy cigar right there looking forward to that and these are the this is the 888 like the uh, thicker Lancero size this is the um, Fuente Fuente it's a nice you know medium small size cigar a little bit smaller than a Robusto but uh, definitely uh, has a slow burn time, even though it's smaller. And that just goes with the quality of the smoke, right? And uh, I wish I had more of these. <laughs> I've been really like into like the just shorter sticks. I just want to have a cigar and, and not spend more than like an hour these days smoking. So, but uh, it's very nice to have all of these for sure. Okay, so next up. These are all a bunch of Churchill-sized cigars. Uh, yeah, that's good. You guys can see it. Let me... Uh, oh. And these are very expensive. Like, all of this forbidden stuff. And these, these uh, Heaven and Earth cigars, like, these... Man, these were like $80 a cigar right here, which still, and that's where I got them from, like, you know, that's that's about what they should go for, I think. Um, are they worth it? I don't know, but it's, it's definitely worth a try, that's for sure. And at, at that point, it's like any luxury item, you know, you get like diminishing returns. But when you look at this right here, you look at what goes into making it. This, uh, the rolling, it's hand rolled, the, you know, the, the spin on this, the, the, um, the character of the cigar and the artwork that's involved in the cigar, you know, it's, it's a lot more to it than just tobacco leaves. And maybe that's just me coping with the price, but I like to think there's more to it than that. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. Okay, let's get these guys out of the way. This is the um, Destino El Siglo. And it's a Robusto size. And uh, it's like a, it's like almost the size of a Robusto, except it's got the tapered head and foot. So I guess I got a couple more short smokes. Again, just giving these guys some time to rest, you know, before, before lighting up. So... These are the Churchill size cigars. So these have already been mentioned. The Destino Siglo. These are Oro Oscuro cigars in the Churchill size. And the um, the other uh, Destino Siglos as well in the Churchill size. I wonder if these are any good. I have not tried them yet, but you know, it's it's like it's Fuente, it's Opus X stuff. They don't miss. They just they just don't. Except for what I'm holding right here. I don't know. This you might not recognize it, but this is the uh, the sophisticated hooker, which I don't have the what is it called the cedar strip and the foot band. I took it off, and uh, yeah, I just never put it back on. I need to put a cedar strip on here, I think. But uh, so yeah. This is actually called the Sophisticated Hooker. I mean, that's the name of this cigar. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I'm sure it's very cool. <laughs> Crazy stuff. So here we got the uh, regular Opus X line in the Churchill size. And these, hands down, got to be one of the best smokes I ever had. The Opus X Angel Share. In the Churchill size, I wish I had some more of these in the uh, like Robusto size or something because this is an amazing smoke as well. Definitely one of the best I've ever had. And that does it for this drawer, I believe. And uh, so that's going to be all the Opus X stuff. There might be some more in there somewhere, maybe in the other box or another drawer. But that about does it here. This is all the the rarest of the rare. It doesn't get doesn't get more limited than this stuff right here, which you know 
Doesn't mean anything. I still want to smoke this stuff. You guys know. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. I will smoke these sooner or later. But you know, you just got to have the right time to enjoy these cigars properly. You know, and do the cigar justice as well as the hands that went into making it justice. You know, and even for uh, what's this talking about? And even you know to to pay proper homage to everyone involved with making a cigar like this. You know what I mean? You got to you got to appreciate it for you to enjoy and go on a crazy journey. Go on a you know amazing journey with the cigars. So, I want to do them justice, which means I have to smoke them when when the time is right and it's that simple. Okay? So, I'm going to put these all up. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Shout out to Tony Soprano. Huge shout out to Tony Soprano. Which I just saw the other the movie. Um, I finally saw the Many Saints of Newark, which I think it has his son in there, like his actual son. And uh, yeah, that movie was real disappointing. I mean, it, it seemed like it was going good, but just the plot was just the way it unfolded, and yeah, it was just its not a great movie. Didn't like it. Anyway, let's go. So, now we are on to the Davidoff drawer. Man, oh man, this is going to be fun. I'm going to point out something that I don't know if anyone's picked up on it yet, but I'm going to go ahead and point it out. But, right here, if you guys notice these holes. So, I did tell you guys, I did a lot of experimenting with my cigars. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, even on this cigar, like that. Because, we're going we're gonna to unpack this right here. Let me take it out of the cello. Cello, let me take it out of the cellophane. So, this cigar is the Davidoff Royal Release. And it's got a, um, it's a Solomon shape. And if you know with the humidimeter, that's what this is. There's really nowhere to test it, right? And if I test it up here, I got a good chance of cracking it. And I've already damaged cigars doing that, so I don't want to mess this up, especially a $100 cigar. Same with the end here, the humidimeter will not fit in there. So, what I did was I started testing them on the side here. Now, I don't do that anymore because, ah, oh, yeah, this thing is just perfect. And you know what? I want to know what you guys think because we're coming on a thousand subscribers soon, and I'm going to have to celebrate with one of these sticks. So, let me know at the end of this what cigar is appropriate for this thousand subscriber um, milestone what what do you guys think I'm gonna let you guys pick maybe I'll pick like you know maybe I'll do a poll see maybe like five different cigars and see what you guys think I should light up for this but uh yeah these royal release Solomons I so yeah I was testing it out through here and what I would do for cigars that I've done this to, because I've done it to a few of them, and I don't really mess with the humidimeter anymore, per se. But when I cut the cap, this is where the perfect draw comes in handy. So I cut the cap, take the wrapper off the cap, and just glue it on here. And that's it. I've done that with many cigars. It works just fine. Do I recommend you do this? No. That's why I really don't even mention it in any of the videos, and I'm not going to do a video on it. Because I don't want you guys doing that with your cigars. It's totally unnecessary. <laughs> I did it with mine. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. But when you order cigars online, and these I bought online. Oh, I bought these online. And uh, yeah, they just were coming to me very, very humid. And so I had to do something about it. And that was part of that process. So it is what it is. There's nothing wrong with it. I just cut the cap, glue some, glue the wrapper on there, and I'm good to go. And I'm going to smoke this down to the nub. 
eventually. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what I do. I do all the um, experimenting so you don't have to. You just get the end result to make sure that you handle your cigars properly without damaging them unnecessarily like I did. So, yeah. And I wouldn't even say unnecessarily. Like, it still was part of figuring all this out, right? So it is what it is. Anywho. And besides, the humidimeter still comes in handy. So, now that we got that out the way, here are some Davidoff Royal Release Solomons. You know, if you don't have a reason to celebrate, I mean, here's five good reasons for you right there. Right? <laughs> yeah, hopefully soon. Can't wait to enjoy those. Let's see, I got some Fuente. Now these are some, some interesting Fuentes. Now these are the Rosado Sun Grown. But this one on the left here is a shade wrapper. And I've been looking everywhere to find another one of these and I can't. So it's a Rosado Sun Grown Connecticut shade wrapper. Like where, how, why are they nowhere else? So yeah, definitely looking forward to smoking these for sure. Those are some great cigars. Okay, what else do we got in here? Some more cedar strips. Uh, this is a discontinued line right here. That, uh, is that it? Yeah, the Davidoff. I don't know, which, which drawer do you think wins? The Opus X or the Davidoff stuff? You guys let me know. Okay, so this is the, uh, the Davidoff 702 series. It was, and it's a discontinued line right now because they're just sold out and there are a few years of age on them already. And so this is a Churchill size, double R. Okay. And I walked, yeah, I remember picking these up in a store and they just had these laying there at the lounge. And I was like, what? This is the special R. Yeah, they're special R. So, you know, Robusto size. And this is the 2000. This is this is going to be the best one. I already know it. <laughs> it's definitely going to be between these two, but I'm already leaning towards this one. But we shall see. The 702 series has high praise from anyway, everyone that, you know, if you look it up, people go crazy for this, uh, for this blend right here. And it's discontinued. You can't find it anymore until they eventually harvest them again, which who knows when that's going to be. But uh, it was nice bumping into these and being able to pick them up. I think, like, for I think the uh, for sure the 2000 was literally the last cigar in the box. They might have had a couple more of these double R's, but and maybe the Robusto. But yeah, it was crazy bumping into these. And I'm glad I was able to pick those up. So, what else do we got in here? We got the Davidoff Colorado Claro. And I have not had one of these in this size yet, but I did smoke it in the um, the pyramid shape cigar. And wow, what an amazing smoke! What an amazing smoke! It was like it was it was a vitola like this one, where it's like a pyramid special tea. I think it's called special toro, special tea. Okay, so let's see. And moving on. Let's see. Oh, this is another special cigar, which this is the Davidoff Chef's Edition. And uh, they still had a few more, and they had the ashtray when <laughs> at the lounge that I bought them in. So I might have to go check back with them again and still and see if they still have that ashtray. That would be cool to have. Um, this is a special edition cigar that the box it's that it comes in is a it doubles as an ashtray with like cup holders in it or something like a like a like a like some kind of like a serving tray, I guess, or something like that, because it was like chef's edition, like literal chef, you know, cool stuff from Davidoff. And these four right here were all I I saw these all at the same spot. So yeah, they had some very nice gems in there in that humidor. Next up, let's see. So this is some Davidoff Winston Churchill. At the late hour and then the regular Churchill lines. 
Where did I get these? Um, these might have been in like a sampler pack. I guess that would make more sense. I'm, I'm going to start. I'm almost done though. But I should have been going over where and how I'm coming up on these cigars. That was my goal to make this interesting. But we're just going along with it right now. That's what I wanted to do. Kind of talk about how I came up on these cigars the way I did. Just like those. Just like these Davidoffs right here were, you know, just a, a surprise come up that I, I came across. These were just in a sampler that I bought. And I, you know what? Then the sampler I bought these was literally for the ashtray that you guys saw. So I was able to grab the ashtray and these cigars. So absolute great deal for those. Let's see. This little shotgun shell right here. <laughs> these are so... So good. This is the Davidoff Dominicana. And this little short Robusto cigar right here is so, so satisfying. And it's like, man, I wish I had some more of these right now. But there was another one. I think it's the uh, either the Yamasa or the Nicaragua. that They make another one in this short little, little capsule sized cigar. And, uh, those short smokes, man, they really do hit the spot sometimes. So yeah, these are some some of some favorites of mine from Davidoff, the Dominicana blend. What else do we have? So yeah, there's some good stuff under there, man. Davidoff is just like all of this stuff is just limited. These are some more of them that I got from the uh, from the sampler. So this is the Pal Palmira Palmira. And Millennium Blend Robusto, great smokes. This one right here, I, the, the the last one. Okay, it came in a sampler. It had two of them in it. The first one I had was just straight up musty. <laughs> I mean, like like skunk musty. Um, Davidoff just makes great cigars. They really do, and they're not so intense with flavors like the Opus X stuff. It's definitely more mellowed these okay so this is the zodiac davidoffs we've got the the rabbit right here the ox taurus the ox and the rat so looking forward to trying these out man okay these were still it still feels mushy man um I don't know when I'm gonna be able to smoke these. They're so mushy. I gotta, I gotta dry. Like, see, dry boxing it is not a good idea because it'll bring that humidity down too fast and probably mess it up. But you know, eventually it'll stabilize over time. But I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the, the humidity on this later. But I'm in no hurry to smoke it anyway. Let's see what we got here. So, so, this is some of the signature line. These are some signature number one cigars right here. Okay, that's what these are. And this is the uh, Davidoff Anniversario in the specialty format. It's got that, it's like it tapers and gets wider at the foot, and then it's got this pyramid shaped head. Very cool shape right here on this cigar. Just uh, some great Connecticut cigars. And here's another come up that I had with some Davidoff cigars. These were also found at a lounge that just had all three of these sitting. Um, at least one of these was the last one in the box. That's crazy. But these are the, the Davidoff Master Selections. And... Funny story about this, okay? I remember asking the tobacconist in there. Oh, camera shake. What are these? So first of all, this is Master Selection 2010, 2012, 2013. And these are some signatures right there of the Masters, which is the Master Blender that designed or blended these cigars, okay? And it's homage to them. And can you see this one on the right? Look at the aging on that. Even the wrapper has gone yellow. It's amazing. So, you know, back to the story. When I asked this guy, 
Um, so what are what is the masters like? I've I've read about it and seen it. Kind of just like I haven't really dug into what was the masters selection from Davidoff. Like what that line is specifically. And I kid you not, his response was, "Oh, Davidoff does those for the Masters golf tournament." <laughs> he said it was for for it was a golf themed cigar, bro. And I was like, "Really?" I was like, "There's no way. There's nothing about that. I haven't seen a golf club anywhere near the Master Selection." <laughs> it says Selection, you know. It doesn't say the Masters. It says the master selection. So anyway, immediately I I was at the lounge. And I remember I was smoking uh, another cigar there, and then I was googling what this was, and that's when I realized, you know, you, sometimes you just got to do it yourself. <laughs> and then uh, googled what they were, looked at the years, and I see that each one is a special pays homage to the, you know, one of the master blenders of Davidoff. And, you know, so immediately I knew I had to try these and pick them up. And uh, they definitely feel good. This 2012 one does concern me a little bit. It's pretty dang on stiff, but I had to pick it up. This might have been the one that was the last one, and I just could not, you know, couldn't let it go. Had to, had to pick it up so I can at least try it. And uh, so, yeah, they had... You know, this, let's say this one was the last one, and then the other two was like, they had a full box of one of these, and then, you know, just a few left of the 2010. And uh, I just couldn't believe it, you know, because this is like, this came out 2010, 2012, 2013. That is crazy. Um, wait, I don't know if they're that old. Okay, obviously, I still need to do some research on this, but let me know. Are these actually released from 2010? You know, are these released from the specific year? I mean, or maybe the tobacco was harvested in that year. Let me know if you if you know. Let me know if you know. And that's about it for the Davidoff stuff. So let's wrap this up. Well, we're not wrapping it up. We're only halfway through. So don't touch that dial. <laughs> yeah. All right. Not to put all this stuff back. Hope you guys are enjoying this video, this broadcast. Boom, boom, boom. Got to do this uh, efficiently. Bang. Bang, bang. All right, good. See you guys on the next. See you guys for the next drawer. Let's do this. All right, so this is the, uh, this is also from the Need One Humidor. Got basically a couple more cigars. Oh, these are from the other. I had picked up another uh, father and son sampler. So these are also a part of that. Same cigars. The only ones that are not here right now are the Opus X 20 year. So that's what this is. And then you got the Opus X Power Rangers. I might try one of these soon. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and also this right here. This is pretty cool. So this right here is a special pack from uh, Fuente and JC Newman. It's a joint effort between the two companies for this uh, charitable organization and all of the proceeds for these cigars go to the charity which is cool and it costs fifty dollars and you get these two very very nice cigars so it's the uh, opus x shark and the julius caesar from jc newman the julius caesar shark Two very um, hard, well, especially the Opus X. Tough to find cigars. And, you know, again, all the money goes to charity, which is pretty cool. And they come in this nice packaging right here. And so that about wraps it up for the Need One Humidor. Now, time to get into those Tupperdoors. Hope you guys are ready to get into that. 
Let's go. It's about damn time. And cool boxes, right? I just love having like the, the cigar boxes, like it's cool to have, and I've even taken boxes from lounges just because they had them and they were like cool boxes or whatnot. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get into some of the boxes too. 